thing on. This thing on. Test, test. Mary had a little lamb, 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 lamb. So we're on. Hola. Soy rico. You sure that's recording? Uh, Eduardo Esteban Abrasti Dice. My name's Keith fucking Jackson. It says so on my birth certificate. Uh, I'm not just being crude. <clears throat> my middle name is fucking Keith fucking Jackson. Why? Because my parents knew I was going to be a badass from the get go. That damn dog, shut up! Yeah, stupid dog. Anyway, you know what I well, like I said, man, I'm the bass player. <laughs> I'm the one that made the band popular. What? The bass player, man. That's what makes a band popular. Well, uh, I usually brush my teeth every day. And I avoid getting all that celibate coming out of my mouth. I'm not going to say it was it was completely because of me, because, I mean, the, the music's kick ass, but I'm funny as shit. And, I mean, millions of dollars says so. Well, yeah, when he joined the band, we took off. You know, that's when we probably made all our money, you know. But uh, it wasn't because of him, you know. I mean, it was, he was popular because of us. One day I was singing karaoke uh, at some little little dive in Chartsville. We come from Chartsville. I shot it when you departed, now I'm left here broken hearted. You were the one that I was having sex with. Nobody knows where Sharksville is, and, and most of us citizens like to keep it that way, you know what I mean? El destructor del mundo. <sighs> I mean, I feel like I'm repeating myself every time I do a goddamn interview. Hey? I joined the band back in the 90s, uh, when it was, you know, Back in Sharksville in the 90s. I've been a big fan of, of Whiskey Sharks for as, as long as I can remember. Back in 68, I was driving in front of a bar and said Whiskey Sharks. And I said, I'll be the drummer for them. Can't be that hard. This song was dedicated to the man that started it all. I've never seen you this week before. I'd always looked up to Stan Mason Dixon. He's he's the originator. He's a person that put Whiskey Sharks together. He was just he was he was this man that would play on all these different country and western albums, you know. He came from this little town called Chartsville. He was tired of all the humdrum, everybody pouring their hearts out, you know. Oh, this is, take a look at my soul. I'm such a deep goddamn musician and all that. And so he was like, well, you know, I wanna, he had a bit of a sense of humor. So he was like, I'm gonna write funny songs. And, you know, they were pretty good. I mean, I enjoyed it. it I thought it was pretty funny. But then one day I was singing karaoke uh, at some little little dive in Chartsville, uh, and Stan was there, and he came over to me and he he was like, "How would you like to be the front man of Whiskey Sharks?" And I thought he was playing with me at first, and I told him to fuck off. You know, that was not very funny, man. I just poured, you know, I just performed my ass off in front of like 15 people. Me and Jimmy got together. Um, we did that little duet. Remember the Jimmy and Rico. And then Stan found us, the bouncy house, bouncy house. His birthday party. What? Yeah. Stan came over. I was taking a little siesta, like we take after a great show at the children's hospital. And he first talked to Jimmy. He was a little, I don't know if it was impressed or disappointed with me. But he gave us a try in the band 
and that was done back in the days. I've been speaking English all my life. <laughs> I'm a complicated man, and these are complicated times. And then I realized he wasn't he wasn't joking around, and he had me come in, and you know, I I don't think I headed off with the guys right away, even though I'm you know I was starstruck being there, because I mean I've been watching him since I was a kid, you know. Stan, was well, you was already old and sounding kind of uh, shardish. I may use the word. I said, hey, I got this guy, and his name is uh, Keith fucking Jackson. He sings very good. So I came in, and I just started writing songs, and then before we know it, we had ten singles. And we were touring the country and everything, and we were a big fucking deal. I mean, the reason his songs are so popular, you know, was because he joined our band. Who the fuck is Jim Woods? Oh, the bass player. Oh. Right, right, yeah, he's, yeah, he's the one. He's the he's the reason why Whiskey Sharks is successful. Fucking unbelievable. Don't tell me that goddamn shit, man. You trying to put a wedge in my fucking band, man? I feel insane. Fuck you say to me? What? Oh, man. You. Can you get this motherfucker out of here? Fuck oh, man, this ain't good, man. It's my medicine. There's a rainbow right above me. What do you mean? You gotta tell me.